can we rent a home with high deposit? Example, regular rent is 1 lakh advance and 15,000 rent. Can I rent it for 10 lakh advance, that is 1 million rupees advance, and pay only a rent of 5,000 rupees a month? Please advise, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you from all the harms and troubles I mean. This is a question posed by Muhammad Yasin from India and it's a common practice in India and certain countries like Pakistan etc. where if you pay a heavy deposit then the rent becomes less. That means, and he gave example that normal deposit is 1 lakh rupees that is 100,000 rupees and the rent he pays is 15,000 per month. But if he pays 10 lakh that is 1 million rupees the rent from 15,000 goes down to 5000 so is it permitted so now what you are doing you are paying 9 lakh rupees or 900,000 rupees more and this is called as deposit or loan or whatever you say and because of this instead of 15,000 rupees he is paying 5000 rupees so in short you are giving 900,000 rupees as loan to the owner of the house and in that you are getting a favor that he is taking 10,000 rupees less for you per month. That means instead of paying 1 lakh rupees, you are paying 10 lakh rupees. Instead of paying 100,000 rupees, you are paying uh, 1 million rupees. That means you are paying 9 million rupees more as a deposit or you can call it as a loan. Of course, that landlord or the owner, he will not keep it in a locker. He will only use it. That means they are giving him as loan. And in repayment or in lieu of that you instead of paying 15,000 rupees per month you are paying 5,000 rupees per month that means you are giving him a loan of 900,000 rupees and you are paying 10,000 rupees less to him per month this is nothing but riba. in Islam if you give a loan and you derive certain benefit from that loan it is called as riba. so this is not permitted you are permitted to give a deposit, for example, if the rental is about 15,000 rupees and you say that I am giving two months rent as deposit. That deposit may be security if you leave so that and you extra, if, if you stay extra then he may deduct from that or if you call damage to the house he can deduct. This is as a secure deposit which is normally supposed to be kept separate or you can give a check that if I delay you can encash the check or the money given is kept separate only as the deposit is permitted but giving a large amount which the owner of that house will utilize it is called as a loan and in lieu of this loan if you derive any benefit it's called as riba so if you are giving loan to the owner of the house and in and there are cases where people say okay you take give me a large amount of money you give me five million rupees take my house don't give me rent after two three years you want to leave you give the house back i'll give you the money back now if you're giving loan to someone if you're giving loan to someone and in lieu of that loan you're utilizing the house you're getting some benefit that's called as riba you're, you're utilizing a house which may be worth about twenty thousand rupees a month or thirty whatever it is so if you give a loan and in lieu of that you derive any benefit it's called as riba it's not permitted Yes, you can buy the house and utilize it and then again he buys it back, that's permitted. But giving just a deposit or a loan which utilizes the money and you don't pay rent and you keep on utilizing and then when you want to go give it back to you, this is riba. You can buy the house if you want, full money and then if when, once you leave, you sell it back to him at the same amount, make a contract, that's accepted. Then you can utilize the money because that money is his because he sold the house but keeping as a deposit and making a contract that I'm giving a large amount of deposit which is counted as a loan and in, and in lieu of that I will not charge any rent this is riba and this is not permitted hope that's the question